friends, Nibs again, out here at the range today doing a little bit of shooting, a little bit of plinking, and I uh, thought I'd throw together a couple of videos for you guys. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful day out here, and we don't get too many of these in uh, upstate New York, uh, getting into wintertime now, <clears throat> so uh, try to take advantage of it and get a few videos done, but the one I want to give, uh, do a video on for this particular video is going to be one that I think is pretty uh, uncommon and pretty cool. Uh, one of the single uh, single action pistols in my collection. But this one is a Ruger single six. And uh, it's not a first year of production of the single six, but it's a first year of production for the single six in 22 Magnum. And uh, this one was made in 1959, which is the year that 22 Magnum was introduced. This is a original three screw, and it uh, is not a, a modified, uh, it, it is unmodified, so it doesn't have the transfer uh, or transfer bar modification like uh, some of the newer ones, and you could send the older ones in and have that transfer bar. So that being said, uh, I'm going to shoot it with six rounds, but if you were carrying this in a holster you probably would not want to uh, carry it you only carry it with five rounds and then the hammer sitting on a on the the open chamber because uh, the unmodified ones the hammer was resting on the firing pin and it could go off uh, <clears throat> if you uh, were to drop it or smack it or somehow uh, hit the hammer but uh, like like I said, this one is a first year of production, uh, and they, in a hurry to get what I've read, in a hurry to get the a copy of this out in 22 Magnum, they had, had made this special so that it would uh, only shoot 22 Magnum. In subsequent years after this, they actually started introducing the ones that would have a interchangeable cylinder so you could shoot 22 sh uh, 22 long rifle or 22 magnum in them but uh, for the first year uh, at least they were only only able to shoot one or the other they still had a 22 long rifle but the cylinders were not interchangeable between the two from what I've read I do have another uh, three screw that is a 22 long rifle only and uh, the cylinders will not interchange between those two that one's a year or two older than this one, or newer than this one. So, uh, but let's go ahead and shoot it. Uh, I paced off about nine paces here, so my paces are a little bit longer than a yard. So I'd say I'm at like at least nine yards, if not 10 yards away from my target. So about 30 feet. So the way that the way that these load is very similar to the Colt single actions. Uh, you flip open your loading gate for starters, and then you got to bring your hammer back to uh, the first click, and then the uh, cylinder will free rotate. The newer versions of the uh, single six, you actually open the loading gate, and that unlocks the cylinder, and you don't have to pull the hammer back. Oh, I dropped one. Where'd it go? There it is. Do a couple of cylinders full just to see how it goes. Still need to get out and pick up some CCI uh, 22 mag ammo. All I've got is this Winchester stuff, but my uh, my Savage didn't care for it too awful much. But there we go. There's a first cylinder loaded up. Let's see how we do. I have a camera running on the target here. Like I said, it's probably probably 30 feet.
lost count. Sorry about that. Stand by. I'm going to go take a look at that. I, I can't see the... Okay, four of them look pretty good, but the uh, there's two of them there kind of flew off. Never, never land there on me, but... So the way you unload this, open the loading gate, pull your hammer back to the first click, and then you rotate, line up your spent shell there, and then uh, pull back on your extractor rod here, and it kicks out the old spent rounds. Then you can load up six more. I did shoot my uh, Colt Frontier Scout, and it grouped uh, pretty nice with these Winchesters. This Ruger doesn't seem to, and might might be just me. Might might be just me flinching all over the place, but uh, at least the Colt likes this Winchester stuff. <laughs> We'll go ahead and shoot one more cylinder full here, and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up. That was a good one. Lost count again. Darn it. <laughs> Trying to be a professional like Paul Harrell, but I, uh, I guess I lose count. Well, it looks like the rest of those group pretty good. I must have just flinched that one down low there, but uh, that's uh, not bad looking, uh, not bad looking grouping from that last cylinder full. But there you go. There is my Ruger single six, uh, three screw. Uh, first year of production for 22 Magnum. I believe they came out with these in 1955 for the uh, original 22 long rifles, but uh, 22 Magnum didn't get introduced until 1959, and they hurried up and got a model together that they could send out uh, that first year as well. This one's in pretty nice shape. Uh, it's not perfect. There's a couple of dings on the on the wood and. The, the bluing's got a couple of wear spots on it, but overall it's in really good condition for a gun of its age, 1959. But uh, <clears throat> really happy to have it in my collection. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Um, check out the couple links down below in my description. Uh, first one's for my Amazon storefront. Uh, if you click on that and go shopping anywhere on Amazon, I'll get a commission for anything you buy while you're still clicked in that window. And then there's a new one down there that actually goes to California Shooting Supplies, and I've become an affiliate uh, member with them. And if you click on that link and then go shopping on their website, uh, I will get a commission off of anything that you buy through that as well. Uh, they have a lot of great uh, outdoor and uh, air shooting materials on their on their website a lot of great optics some really nice high-end optics they've got some really nice air rifles that i'm interested in and probably be buying in the in the near future coming up so until next time have a great day